know you are happy for us, oh God. Yes, because yes. you want us to relax, My to God. sit down and to eat and to fellowship My and God. to commune with each other. My we God. want to give you praise right now. Father Lord, oh, we are not on the world that devices from the enemy. Oh. We know that Father, the enemy is around too. Mm. And he want he to cause people to be angry at something. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, yes. we come against uh, any machination uh, of Satan and his agents. Uh, and Father, Lord, we lose your children, oh God. Yes. We release your joy and your happiness, oh God. Oh Lord, into our soul right now that we might rejoice and be glad in this day of jubilee. Yes, we yes. want to thank you, Father, oh Lord, at the end of this session. Father, Lord, let everybody go home joyous in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we give you praise, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you. Give the Lord a clap of praise. Stand for us for a minute. All the folks from the Korean church. Stand. We are just blessed that this group of people will join us today to celebrate with us the blessings of God. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 2, verses 13 and 14, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest uh, and peace on earth uh, 
amongst those whom God is pleased with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Celebrating 50 years of God's faithfulness is the motto for the Rockville Church of God of Prophecy's 50th anniversary celebration. A week filled with activities that reminds us of our roots that we are celebrating today and inspires us to march into the future. For those of us who were there last night, in our third night of our revival, you would understand uh, what some of our early pioneers, uh, uh, Joan and Brother Daniel and Sister Eleanor and Robbie and Gail and some of these folks that are uh, with us today, they will understand or we will understand what they enjoyed uh, 50 years ago, 49 years ago, 48 years ago. Because the anointing and power of the Holy Ghost that was present in the house last night was an amazing, amazing time. Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. This week is, all, is anchored by our three nights of revival services uh, that ended last night. Our banquet today and tomorrow our official anniversary service. A famous counselor was asked what he would like his people to say about him uh, in 100 years. And he answered to them, I would like them to say, he looks pretty good for his age. Amen. As we look back over the past 50 years of ministry in the city of Rockville and the surrounding community, here are a few highlights that I would quickly go through. We look at the wonderful people who have served so faithfully down through the years. We look at the spiritual victory that has been won around our altars. We look at the lives that have been changed through the years. We look at the marriages that have been saved. We look at the babies that have been dedicated. We look at the prodigal children that have come home. We look at the bad habits that have been broken by the power of Christ. Hallelujah. We look at the sacrifice of those Christians in the early days of our church. People like Rabbi and others who sold their donuts and uh, through the ice and uh, through the storms and whatever. And they went out making sure that we are able to have the facility that we have today. Hallelujah. As we look at the sacrifice of those Christians uh, in the early days of our church, we can only say to them and to ourselves, to God be the glory, amen. great things he had done. Somebody say amen. amen. We have to admit though that we look uh, pretty good for our age. Yes. At 50, if you saw the dancing last night, if you saw the rejoicing last night, I have to say we look pretty good for our age. Hallelujah. This celebration brings some uh, three precious fruits uh, into my mind. First, it is a victory for the Rockford Church of God of Prophecy. A victory that reminds us of our humble beginning. The work was started with little or no financial support from churches around, but from a simple act of faith uh, to a faithful God. A complete trust in his precious promises and a wholehearted obedience to his perfect will. Indeed, folks, God has proved himself and honored our faith by sustaining us with his grace and supplying our daily needs from start up until the present. Amen. I'll just throw this out. Just recently, we did about $12,000 worth of renovation that worked our sanctuary. Not one penny is owed uh, from the work that was done. Amen. We give God the glory for that. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 24, Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Secondly, the celebration calls for vigilance. Our victory in the past and our victory today is no guarantee of victory tomorrow. Come on, can I hear an amen? amen? We cannot afford, I'm speaking to my church folks now, we cannot afford to lower our guard against the enemy. And we cannot afford to be complacent for, what, uh, for where we are right now. I know the enemy is not happy to see souls getting saved. 
saved, to see believers growing in their faith. We should therefore be continuously fervent in our prayers. We should be circumspect in our walk and we should be faithful in our service. Hallelujah. And finally, thirdly, a vision. The Bible tells us where there is no vision, the people perish. Hallelujah. I firmly believe that God has a wonderful plan for the Rockville Church of God of Prophecy. We have beheld some beautiful things. We have been in the majestic power and presence of Almighty God. We have seen His hand do some amazing things. But I know that we have yet to get exactly or to get it all what God has in store for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to be determined. We need to be devoted. We need to be disciplined in order to reach this goal. Philippians 3 and 14 tells us that. As someone said this well, expect great things from God, attempt great things for God. In other words, you cannot expect great things if you have never attempted great things. In other words, dream big. Step up to the plate. Step big and do big things for a big God. Hallelujah. There is a great challenge ahead of us. Let us therefore continue to grow deeper, to aim higher, and to serve better until we become a church or the church that God intends for us to be. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. For 50 wonderful years at the Rockwell Church of God of Prophecy. And I am waiting with bated breath to see what tomorrow brings, to see what next week brings, to see what the week after brings. I am waiting because I know that my God, our God, ain't finished with us yet. Come on tomorrow. God's got some awesome things and plans for us. Hallelujah. Let God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the round of applause for Pastor Barbara. Now we will have Iris Hadley come up and do the invocation and serenade us into our dinner time with live music.
We want to do a special uh, recognition to uh, Bishop Chapman and his wife of Thank Abundant you. Life Ministries. You can stand for a minute. You can stand for a minute, please. <laughs> also, uh, Pastor Lennox Abrigo and his wife. If you could stand, please. Pastor Simpson and his wife. If you could stand, please. And also a special recognition to Pastor Jenny Lee of the Korean Church. So the church was started in 1963 by Reverend Willie Jolly from 1963 to 1965. From 1965 to 1966 was Reverend Harold Aiken. 1966 to 1968 was Reverend Joe Hughes. 1968 to 1974, Reverend David Tolleson. 1974 to 1985, Reverend Paul Littleton. 1985 to 1987, Reverend Philip Whalen. Wow. 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 excuse me. <laughs> 1987 to 1990, Reverend Tony Pittman. 1990 to 1993, Reverend Ronald Hitchcock. And 1993 to 2000, Robert, excuse me, Reverend Robert Hagee. Praise God for all of them. Good afternoon, everyone. Are you enjoying yourself this evening? Amen. Great. I am going to make a word presentation to the founding members of the church. And without these families, this church would not be in existence. So we owe a deep debt of gratitude to these families. The Ellis family, the Brown family, and the Lewis family. Unfortunately, we do not have any members representing those families today. But we do want to give them... I'm going to just one word. We have some plaques for these families, and um, I don't know if anyone here can help us to send these plaques if you have an address. Um, we will pay for the, the shipping to the families. So if you can help us with that, I would surely appreciate it. All right, thank you. So, so can thank we acknowledge these families, please? The Ellis family, the Brown family, and the Lewis okay. family. Please give them a would go to the early supporters of the church. They have Pastor David and his family. And I'm going to say a few words about Pastor David. Where is he? Can you stand, please? Thank you. 
good for your son, for one for your son also. I'd like to appreciate, I gave you this fact of a final appreciation for your membership in the church and for being here all these years. We'd like to say a few words. Thank you, we appreciate you very much. goes to the McCurry family. Rockville Church of God prophecy that there has been a connection between myself and Rusty, and I praise God for that. Amen. Amen. Rusty, on behalf of the church, I want to give this token of our appreciation for your service to the church. Can I just do your picture over here? Could you go by the back on the screen? Yeah, I'm sorry. Please. Can, can we just let them do it? I'm sorry. <laughs> Family. Yeah. 
her and her children and grandchildren gets another one. On behalf of the Rockville Church of God of Prophecy, I'd like to give you this token of our appreciation for your dedication, service, and years of the church. We appreciate you and we thank you. Women. We have another presentation to make, and this is for, I believe, the family, which is Robbie, Gail, and Heather. We want to let you guys know we thank you and we appreciate you for your years of service and dedication to the church. Thank you. <laughs> Praise God. Let's give a warm hand of appreciation for all of our, our pastors, the family members, and the early supporters of the Rockville Church of God and Prophecy. Praise God. We've got a few more. Oh, okay. Uh, Juliet Morris. Juliet Morris. Juliet Morris. Juliet, I know I saw you here somewhere. Come on up, Juliet.
behalf of the Rockville Church of God of Prophecy, I want to give you this token of appreciation. And this for you is truly a very small token of all that you do. We want to know we appreciate you. And um, we'll have the token, the bulletin that you prepared for the church anniversary as a reminder of your tireless service towards the church. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we got a young lady here with us today. I want the church to put your hands together as we welcome Mary Chu. Yay! Tremendous blessing through the years. Mary Chu, we give God glory for you and for your life. Amen. Mary, on behalf of the church, I'd like to give you the token of our appreciation to let you know that we truly, truly appreciate everything that you do for the church. Thank you very much. Now there is a couple here while they're taking the picture of Mary. There's a couple here that I'd like to recognize. They've been with us for just about 13 years. Vilma and Bedrick Tergut, if you would put your hands together. This couple was the first wedding I performed at Rockville Church of God of Prophecy. And Robbie, to prove that it works, <laughs> they're still married. <laughs> so I am thankful to God for them and for His blessings. They have been such a blessing to our church. We give God the glory and the praise for them. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Okay. This couple is affectionately known to me because they are all through my family <laughs> as Papa T and Mama V. And I want them to know that besides being a member of the church, as a family member, I truly appreciate them. The church also appreciates everything that you do for us. And on behalf of the church, I'd like to give you the token of our appreciation. Turn around, turn around. I just want to say thank you to some people. Minister. Alright. Oh, right. Mr. Samali, just stand, stand where you are. Just give God some praise for this man. And his wife, Grace Sandra. Come on, one more time. Give it all to Thank you. Wanted to recognize a young man in our presence this evening. For about six years, he has been a part of our fellowship. The pastor's job is a very difficult thing. Robbie would know what I'm talking about. He's given me enough of a hard time. <laughs> But this young man, every time we have needed something done at our church, every time we needed a musician, every time we needed someone to give some kind of spiritual, whether it be around the church, whether it be in the church, whatever you call for, Verlin Mead has been a part of a blessing. <laughs> Just on behalf of our church, Vernon, well, I want to say thank you. As pastor, you have made my job a lot easier through the years, and I give God thanks for you. God, God. Thank you.
have a big hug for me and a smile on your face. <laughs> and you know, and we appreciate everything that you do for the church. And in light of that, we'd like to give you this token of our appreciation and to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Um, while, while we're doing the picture for them, I, I just I would like to take this moment to say all the members of Rockville Church of God Prophecy, I thank you from the depths of my heart for all that you do for us. If I were to call your names, I would forget some. So I'm just going to say a big thank you to every member. If you're here, stand to your feet. Every member and fellow partner of the Rockville Church of God of Prophecy, the Ramcharan family all the way to the back, just stand to your feet. I need for us to give them, give us all a big hand. Come on, everybody. stand up. But I just want to say how much we appreciate every one of you. You guys have been a real blessing to us and thank you from the depths of my heart for all that you've done for us. Put your hands together for these two wonderful ladies. Thank you. I would like to to hand over the mic to a young man. Let me, let me say this first. I, I recognize so many of you, but there's one person here, without her presence, I would not be half the man that I am. I would just like to take a time out, and I get choked up because she's still the love of my life. She's still the... Come on, Robbie, stop. But she's still everything to me. Church, if you put your hands together for your first lady, Martha. You know, if I could sing the song, Isn't She Lovely? Isn't she lovely? Alright, that's enough. Tristan, where are you? Tristan, Tristan, where are you? Come on. This young man is one of our newest additions. Him and his mother has been coming to our church for a few years now. But I have seen so much potential and so much in this young man that I want to take the honor of introducing him to you this evening. A tremendous poet in his own right. One of the very best that we have in this area. Would you put your hands together as well? <laughs> give you guys a quick, quick uh, history lesson of the uh, Rockwood Church of God of Prophecy. I'm going to run through this really fast because I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> All right. There we go. Rockwood Church of God of Prophecy is a true testimony that you can never limit the power of God within your ministry. Just think, in 1961 our church started as a mission to perform as just a Sunday school in the home of the Ellis family's living room. The members consisted of three families. Three families that were not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, so they united to seek more of his truth and advocate for more of his right. This Sunday school mission began to form into a dynamic church vision. And in 1963, the vision became a reality, with a temporary setup in a small storefront in Rockville City. What once was Sunday school became a church, pastored by Reverend Jolly. Also, acknowledgement to the first members, Teresa Brown, Gail Ellis, the Brown, Ellis, and Lewis family. With their obedience, they set the foundation for the manifestation of us being here. In 1968, in search of a more secure place for the church to reside, the church moved to a house in 14180 Travilla Road. Not knowing two years later, in this very location, a permanent church will be constructed and unfold. And Doug Roth, Leonard Brown, Ruby Lewis, and Don Lewis contributions to show the accountability for this facility should not go untold. For years only, the sanctuary served as our place for worship. 
But in 1998, the church building was finally made whole under the pastorship of Robert Hagee. A generous fellow in Pat Madison subscribed to the vision of the church when he donated $150,000 to build our fellowship hall. Look at God. The vision of the Brown, Ellis, and Lewis family began to manifest. A complete facility where believers can worship and where Jesus is always at the center. A place where lives can be saved in a family atmosphere where the presence of the Lord is eminent Amen. as you enter. In, in 2001, Bishop Balram took over leadership and he shared this vision. The ministry has since made many upgrades to the parking lot and significant remodeling to the sanctuary. Upgrades to the website and the online weekly service broadcast that can be seen globally. With the bishop's passion for Christ, his love for people, and tech savvy, this ministry has been able to grow and successfully unite many cultures under one body. In 2011, the Rockwell Church of God of Prophecy crossed the 100 members mark for the first time in its history. But check this. What started as a three-family Sunday school has not only been able to impact their immediate community. This ministry has been able to make an impact around the world. With, with shoe drives, a bus for a church in Ghana, monthly donations to different missions, generous giving, walking in love, the will that the Lord has for all Christians. The effort of this small growing ministry have been mega. Started from the Sunday school, now we are here. As we reflect on where we came from, where we are, and where we are heading in this year of Jubilee, we must remember, you can never limit the power of God in your ministry. For he has prepared what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, Hallelujah. and what no human can conceive. Amen. Beloved, once God is in it, there is no living. Yes. Give it up for our 50th anniversary. Amen. Church, if you've been with us for the last three nights, you would have been blessed by the awesomeness of this young lady that we're about to bring on. She has been a tremendous blessing. Last night, the house was literally rocking. Amen. I mean, we, I thought for a moment we weren't going to get into the Word. God moved in an amazing, amazing way. If you would, one of Trinidad's best, one of the finest that ever come out of the island nation of Trinidad Amen. and Tobago, one of the finest young lady that I have seen, a true worshiper, a true singer, a true a preacher of the word. If you were, put your hands together and welcome with me to the stage, Nicole, Reverend Nicole, Allison, There's so much uh, multiplicity and variations to this church. You know, and when you get to the age of 50, you, you, you make so many different friends and you make, you've gone through so many different experiences. And one of the things that we would like to do, if you look at in the middle of your, of your, of your, of your table, there are all sorts of different colored little flags. Well, it's supposed to be flags. Are you looking at the middle of the table? Yes. I know I look good, but look at the middle of the table. And get one of them. Get one of them. And that represents the wide, wide variety. And look around you. Look around this entire banquet in the hall. Look around you. Take some time to look around you. And just give a wave with that, with that little rag. Give a wave. And look around you. Look around you. That's a little taste of heaven. That's what heaven looks like. How many of you believe that? Yes. Come on, y'all. I know you're dressed up, but we can have church too. How many of you know that's what heaven looks like? Hallelujah. So I want you now, you you filled up on stuff, but we gotta burn some calories a little bit. So come on, get up on your feet right where you are. Keep that, keep that little kerchief in your hand. Where we come from, we call that a waving instrument. Hallelujah. And we're just going to rejoice in the Lord. Come on, fix your faces and make sure that food digests really good. And give the person around your table a smile. Hallelujah. This is a time for rejoicing. Somebody say rejoicing. Come on, come on, say rejoicing. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus, everybody. Yeah. 
and it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Do you believe that? Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, if you're enjoying this music, how many of you enjoying this music? Make you feel happy? Right at the table, uh, right there at the door, there's a gorgeous lady sitting down in green. So she's advertising for me all the CDs of our music, the books, the DVDs, anything you put your hand on. Just drop $5 at the table and we will give you some great music so that when you go home, you won't have to get, go and get into an argument. You can just get into the presence of God. Amen? Is that all right? Somebody shout amen.
Bring it back to Jubilee. Yeah, yeah. Another Jubilee in the Bible. The Exodus yeah. was the most amazing for its time. This was the year that the Israelites came out of Egypt. The event was a wonderful jubilee, a Sabbath of Sabbath. It was 2,500 years from the time of Adam. Meditate on what the Bible is trying to tell you about jubilees. Now we will have Sasha Wilkerson performing a dance. Thank you.
If we stay anything after the eight thirty, we have nine hundred dollars. So I'm trying to avoid this. Give it up to Sasha one more time. This is some of the new talent that is coming to Rockville. God blessed us a couple of years ago with this young man that you're about to hear. He's one of my favorite worship leaders in all the world. This young man blessed us for a couple of years and really blessed us. As a pastor, can I say something? There were times when I literally would be sending a text to Andrew to tell him what song I needed done. Andrew started playing it. I didn't have a moment to send the song. He heard from God. He prayed under the anointed. He came ready. When he left, God gave us a couple that did for us for a little while and then raised up a bunch of young people who are now leading us in worship to some wonderful heights. But if you would put your hands together and welcome this young man. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight is all about celebration. We thank all the families, all the pastors. But the one that I just think that we should just take a few minutes to thank is Jesus. Jesus, we want to thank you tonight that you bore our sins on the cross, that you took it away so that we can walk in freedom, so that we can dance in freedom tonight in your presence. Jesus, we love you. If you know the words, would you sing along? Would you thank you tonight?
want to worship and spend the rest of the evening here. But we come back tomorrow morning at 1045 at 14180 Travilla Road, Rockville, Maryland, where this comes to a grand conclusion tomorrow. Amen. I pray that you can join us, that you can come together. We're going to celebrate our past. We're going to celebrate our present. And we're going to celebrate our future in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. If you were, if you're not standing to your feet, stand right now. We bring this to close. Pastor Brito is going to sing for us. And this man of God is going to bless us tomorrow because I, I don't have the time to bring him on right now. But he's got an amazing, amazing voice. We celebrated 60th birthday with him. And my goodness me, he blew us out of the, the waters with a song. He's going to do one for us tomorrow. Jasmine, I want us to put our head and hands together and give thanks to God for this. Thank you. 